Hi guys and welcome to today's video. For any of you that are new here, I'm Sabrina. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I feel like you really rarely say hi, I'm and then your name. So that felt a bit weird, but I am Sabrina. Um, you can subscribe down below. I'm completely honest, I'm not 100% sure what I'm filming today. I think it's kind of like a Mail Monday, not on a Monday. Um, I know I mentioned that I'm kind of stopped doing Mail Mondays because not everyone liked them, but then some of you have missed them. So I just kind of thought that I would share a few bits that have really caught my eye that are new. I've been a bit MIA. Actually, that's a bit of a lie. I wasn't even missing in action. I was just missing. I had really bad tonsillitis last last week. I have been in two or three times as a child to get my tonsils out. Um, but I got a really high fever every time I went in. Therefore, I never had my tonsils removed. And honestly, last week was the worst tonsillitis I have ever 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 had i asked my mom to take me to doctors and she was like no she said that she wasn't feeling too well like she just gave uber there um and then i like showed her my tonsils and she was like yeah let's go to the doctors because oh it was bad bad and i'm like oh i'm just basically really really scared that it might come back but fingers crossed it doesn't because i cannot be dealing with that that's why i've been missing a little bit but my last video was my spain vlog and thank you for all the positive feedback on that i really enjoyed filming them actually but today let's get started with a few bits that have caught my eye yeah this is just stuff that i really excited to talk about that has come from my letterbox recently the first thing i want to talk about is actually something that um i can't use so maybe it's a bit pointless me talking about it but i know a lot of people love ysl um base and i personally love ysl base it's just absolutely beautiful everything they do however ysl breaks me out really really bad i don't know why ysl bourgeois two brands they break me out like no other brand does so i stay far away that's just a lie. Sometimes I do use YSL foundation. I just have to use a non-YSL primer underneath and usually it works out okay. But these caught my eye and I just wanted to talk about them, although I'm probably not going to use them for that reason. They have released three new primers. I believe these are out now and they're basically colour correcting primers. There's this kind of like orangey peachy one, a pink one and a blue one. These are really exciting. They're a bit different and I, to be fair, like they just really caught my eye more than anything. Let's try the blue one on my hand got to pump till this comes out come on and obviously they don't make your skin super blue oh that feels nice probably got a lot of silicone so and instantly my hand does look nice so i don't know if you can see that um it's kind of on this side of my hand however i will be staying away from it because they do work break me out one thing i am tempted to try and i'm gonna be honest i probably will try it oh i'm gonna regret it if it breaks me out but this is the ysl all in one glow foundation this sounds exactly like my cup of tea i really like the packaging it's like a squeezy lightweight tube so really nice really easy to travel with but it's still got a pump it's a tiny bit light actually no maybe it's about right oh this looks like it's gonna be really nice so i am gonna give this a go it will probably break me out i will report back i'm gonna put a, a primer underneath for sure but if it doesn't break me out it looks like it could be a really excellent foundation. So I'm very excited. On to eyebrows. And I've actually had my brows done today. At Benefit, that's where I get my brows done all the time. I think I've mentioned that before. I feel like I should have a mirror. Just grab a random mirror. So, I have my Benefit, my, oh, my Benefit done at brows. My brows done at Benefit today. That's where I always get my brows done. And I was saying, like, a lot of people love brow products. I like brow products, but I'm quite fortunate that my brows are quite dark and they're quite thick. That. Oh my god, I keep dropping stuff. Come on, stuff. They're a tiny bit sparse just here. But other than that, I have decent brows. I'm not saying the shape is perfect. The shape is not perfect. But other than that, they're good. Typically what I use my brows is Benefit. The product I really like using is Benefit Gimme Brow. It has been temporarily discontinued. There were some issues with some production and bacteria. I'm not really too sure about the whole story. Basically, you can't get it at the moment. So, I was really excited when these came in. This is from Hourglass. I really, really, really like Hourglass. The brand, everything I've tried, I have really liked. And I have been using these brow products. This is the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. I have Warm Brunette and dark brunette the warm is not that warm i was really worried because some brands idol for example i find just their normal brunette color to be too warm for my eyebrows and um, although i have quite warm hair my eyebrows are a little bit cooler quite a lot cooler my eyebrows are super dark basically um but this isn't too warm and i really like it it has a spoolie on one end quite a fat spoolie actually this is the color warm brunette 
which is actually the one I have been using. And I like it, it's really nice. It's um, really easy to apply and you don't get a super dark brow, which I like. Obviously you could build up to that, but to be honest, I, literally all I would do to my brows is fill in this bit, maybe a tiny bit on the end, and that would be it. Get a spoolie and brush that out. So I really like this actually. I am really impressed just by how easy it is to use. Then I also have their brow shaping gels. I have warm brunette, dark brunette, and clear. And they are fibre gels. Well, apart from the clear one, they're fibre gels. But let's try this. I'm going to use, this as warm. So the gel in warm is probably too warm for my eyebrows, if I'm honest. I don't really like that. With brows, I just feel like if, if something goes wrong, just brush it out. So I don't like that colour on my eyebrows. It's not the worst, though. Actually, I could, I could definitely get away with that. But... Let's go for the dark. I've been using the clear and I really like it. This is the dark. Yeah, that's literally like my eyebrow colour. I really like that. It's not too crispy, but it definitely holds your brows. Again, really like that. Hourglass isn't a cheap brand, but they are nice. It's a really lovely brand, actually. Everything I have tried, I've really, really loved. On from that, uh, Bare Minerals. I have been saving this in this little box because I really wanted to talk about it. This is the Gen Nude Patent Lip Colour and Powder Blush. 10 different blushes, all nudie shades. Nice variation in colours as well. There's some really dark colours. I'll open this one to show you. This one is super dark. I probably have no use for that if I'm honest. It's too dark for me, I suspect. Oh, this is beautiful. Might even be too light, but I do like it. This is pretty in pink, and this is But First Coffee, but they just look beautiful. Cannot wait to try these. Look how nice this sh oh. I'm like, ah, pretty. Oh, I really like this. Pink Me Up is probably my fave. Cannot wait to try these. But I am going to apply one of the lip colours. And there is 10 new lip shades. Oh, I think they're glosses, aren't they? So I'm going to go for Major. It's like a nudie pink, which is 100% my kind of colour. Oh, this is thick. I like that. It is sticky and it is thick. Colour wise, beautiful. Doesn't feel uncomfortable. I do feel like I applied a bit much though. Definitely one I will be wearing and kind of getting back to on what I think. I'm quite into non matte colours at the moment. And just because, why not? I am going to put on um, Pink Me Up in the blush, which looks like this. I'm not going to apply too much, I say now. Yeah, I'm just going to apply a tiny bit. It's really pretty, it's quite like sheeny. I really like that. And I'm very excited about these if I'm honest. A few new skincare bits that have arrived. The Vichy Slow Age Fresh Cream and Mask. Sounds very interesting. Oh, that's cool, so you apply every night as a cream and once a week in a thin layer as a 10 minute mask. So this sounds very interesting. I guess it's quite good for like dry skin. Packaging wise is beautiful. That is not what I expected. It smells so good. Oh, it's got a weird smell. I like it though. Not what I expected at all. It's like super dark. Although I guess the packaging makes it look dark as well. And then the face cream that I'm really excited to start using is the Clinique uh, Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenish Hydrator. I have really dehydrated skin. At the moment, it's even more dehydrated than usual. I'm really excited to try this. It's been all over the magazines. Um, well, the adverts have. Like I haven't heard if it's good or bad. I do like some of Clinique's skincare. I'm not a huge fan of their like three step thing. That really did not work out for me. But I have really dehydrated skin, so I'm very excited to try that. Oh, it feels nice. That's gonna be the face cream that I'm gonna start using. So I guess you'll know like if I love it or not, if it's in my next favourites. Although, um, didn't do a February favourites because I was sick. And this is the first time I've worn makeup in 10 days. So, I felt like a bit pointless. Onto a brand that's not new. This just arrived and I really like it, so I wanted to tell you about it. It's Sol de Janeiro. I'm going to say in Portuguese, Sol de Janeiro. Although in Brazilian it would be like Sol de Je I can't do a Brazilian accent, I'm not going to try. Um, Superpel no Supplier, so your skin at our beach. I don't know what that means. Well, I know what it means, but I don't get what they mean by it. Anyway, this is a Samba Foot Fetish Care um, foot cream. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, that's cool, it comes like a little foot pomace. Is that what it's called? I'm not even sure. Um, and the foot cream. Oh, I'm really dropping stuff now. And then there's a hand cream. 
which I haven't opened. But I'm only really talking about this brand because it smells so incredibly good. Oh, I actually do have their Bum Bum Cream, which is a body cream. I haven't used it because I'm really lazy at body at creaming my body. But I also have one of these in a mini version. And this stuff smells so good. It's kind of, it reminds me of like a body spray. And I guess it is a body spray, which is a bit re retro. A body fragrance mist. But it's not super cheap. I actually think it might be like fairly expensive expensive for body mist and like maybe like mid range for a fragrance but this smells so good oh it smells like summer in a bottle i don't think it's for everyone it smells of like vanillary almondy goodness i love this so much it's the brazilian crush one. Oh wait yeah it's pistachio and almond ah oh, i was right and i cannot describe fragrance but i hit the nail on the head that's the top notes mid notes are helotrope jasmine petals and then it dries down to vanilla salted caramel and sandalwood this is so so good um if you want like a fragrance that will make you like happy this is it. I know that sounds stupid, but if you, especially if you love summer, this is the fragrance you need. Then on to Eyelot. They've collabed with El Emma Willis. I have nothing against Emma Willis. I just feel like she's not the coolest celeb. I think that that sounds really mean. I don't know. I just thought this is a weird collab, basically. But the lashes look really nice. They each have a strip lash and then a corner lash. They say they've got accents and then corners. I thought they were the same. Anyway, there's I have three different versions. They look really nice. They've got a really beautifully thin band. Um, and I'm really excited to try these. So it says, think you can't wear falsies. Think again. So this is a nice idea. It's for people that don't usually wear falsies, I guess. They look like they're very easy to apply. And they're like fairly natural, but they still add a lash. Like they're still added drama it's not like sometimes because i got quite good lashes sometimes i apply a lash and they like disappear amongst my eyelashes but i think that those you'd actually be able to tell garnier sent me a few uh, tissue masks which are like sheet masks and this for mother's day and the only reason i'm really telling you about these is because my mom loves Garnier. Um, it's the only skincare brand that she uses. I've given her really expensive stuff. And she comes back to Garnier every time. Really, really loves the brand. So very excited about these. Thank you very much, Garnier, for them as well. A few more things. I've like, got it inside a little bag. Vichy have a new Mineral 89... Let's read the English side, Sabrina. Mineral 89, fortifying 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 and plumping daily booster a 95 percent mineralized zinc water and hyaluronic acid looking forward to trying that again got dehydrated skin so that's why i'm excited about that and then la roche posay have an anti-wrinkle concentrate repairing replumping serum which i've heard really good things about and i think it's quite a good one for like the first signs of aging which I definitely have so I'm excited to try that I suspect when I do these there's not going to be like that much drugstore stuff just because I don't know I think it's just more it's just easier to get excited about higher end products but that said when it is drugstore stuff it's because I'm genuinely excited about it so this is the collection glam crystals liquid eyeshadows these are really affordable I'm not sure how much they are but they are just beautiful they are eyeshadows have I said that I think I have I have two colours. I think there's more colours, but these were the two that I really liked. Oh my god, my lipstick, do you know when it starts to gather? I don't like it. I need to apply less lip next time. I have the colour Divine 2 and Envy 3. And they are beautiful. I cannot wait to wear these on my eyes. I particularly like Envy 3, which is the darker shade. Because although it's quite a dark colour, because it's quite metallic, I think it's still very wearable and doesn't look too dark so very excited about those there's some new concealers by barry m i kept these because i want to try them but i really i haven't tried them so i don't know much about them the new foundation by Giorgio armani which i want to try but it might be a little bit too dark for me this is the face fabric second skin makeup it also looks like it might be quite a heavy one this is going to be way too dark it might be one that I save for the summer when I'm a bit darker. I don't know, it feels nice. Yeah, it does feel nice. Final item is Shimmer Veils by Cover FX. I have two of them. Um, and it's a pearlescent cream which can be used on eyelids or anywhere else that you fancy. So I guess it's like the high-end version of the collection eyeshadows. Again, I have two shades. I have got another shade, but I didn't like the other shade. It was green. Um, and I'm not about the green life. So I have... Soleil, 
and Celest Celestial. Celate is actually quite similar, I don't know if you can see, to um, one of the, col the collection ones. And then this one is Celestial and it's just such a silvery colour that it's not really my cup of tea. And if I'm completely honest, these are just too glittery for me. I probably prefer the collection, but I guess it depends on whether these crease or not. But that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Quick um, side note of what I'm wearing. I'm loving these t-shirts. These are £6 from ASOS. I will link them down below. Cardigan is old. I'm really sorry, but it was from NYX. I'll link something similar down below. Necklace is H&M. Um, and my earrings, I love. They were like £5, £6 from ASOS. And they're from Weekend via ASOS and I love them. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next, if you've tried anything from the products I've just spoken about, and I shall see you all very soon. Bye.